I found myself riding the family pony at Brighton racetrack with the racehorses and just showed a natural aptitude. Then got introduced to riding racehorses and uh, my career started from there, riding for Dad and for others. I made my way to the racetrack as a rider and won the Grand National Hurdle in Tassie. And then I had a very bad fall. Um, my, my fall was life-threatening um, and it involved a, a chipped spine, rebroke the collarbone and stuff and a, and a cerebral hemorrhage as well. And the, the hemorrhage is what knocked me around most of all. It took eight years to get back into the workforce. Did that in any way motivate you to help you want to work with injured horses? I understand it. I understand the, the, um, the amount of drive that you need as a person to overcome injuries and conquer. Um, so I, I've got a very good affiliation with horses that have got problems and um, I believe that I can help them with positive thinking and taking away the pain from their training that, to, to help them back into competition. This horse here broke both his front legs when he was three when he raced at Sandown. Um, winning the race over 2400 metres had bilateral fractures. You can see these little white spots. That's where the screws went in. He's got three screws in one leg and two screws in the other leg. Anyway, he's now won back in Melbourne last year um, at, at a high level, 3000 metre race on a, on a heavy bottomless track at Sandown. We trialled him on Tuesday and he ran second, finishing over the top of an open class sprinter over 900 metres. He's a heavy track two miler, so we think we've got him close to the mark. This is the um, water treadmill, um, it has all sorts of names, but it's just a water treadmill, that's fine. This is his breast strap, we'll shut the front door, shut the back door. We're going to elevate it a little bit. It has its own hydraulic rams that um, simulate walking uphill in water. Generally speaking, they, they all know what's going to happen once they've been in here once or twice. They can't wait to get in, as you can see by him. He just wants to be in here. In a time when most people are putting down horses with broken legs on, on the track, how come you guys, how come he's still alive? Oh, I guess I owed him a fair bit. And... Uh, if there was any chance, I was going to keep him alive anyway. And uh, I had a very good older vet uh, advise me that he thought he, he could give him a 50% chance of recovery with, with his surgery. And he's done better than that. Which was basically all the stake money he won in winning the race in Melbourne. So he put that back on the table and gave the horse a chance to live. We could clearly see that um, the horse needed something to give him that chance to win that big race that he deserved to win. We could see that he was a good horse and he needed an edge. Um, I combined all the different types of machines that were available on the internet and asked a, a um, treadmill manufacturer in Victoria to, to build a basically a two or three in one unit. It does many things. It offers resistance training. So the horse is running against, its, uh, against water that's encapsulated you know, in that box. Um, it decompresses the joints, so as they're going down through the water, the, the joints get decompressed and they're not hitting the ground as hard as they normally would if they were going on a, on a normal surface. The surface is a perfect flat surface. Every single step is the same. So once a horse gets his confidence with his bad legs, you can, he, he gets his confidence to, to want to, to try and, and get through his problems. So what's next for the two of you? A few more winners. Yeah, just lots of winners. <laughs>